Hello and welcome to Interactive CAD. Um, today I'm just going to do a bit of a two-part video. The first part being how to draw a gear in SolidWorks with um, accurate uh, tooth profile for the gears. And then the second video which I'll start um, is how to use a design table to make this gear multiple uh, sizes and different teeth. So just to get started, I'm going to draw a circle on the front plane and I'm going to make it 55 mil. So to make life easier when I make the design table in the next video, I'm going to uh, name all the dims. So to name all the dims, all you need to do is type in the name above on the modify box. So I'm going to call this uh, gear overall. So I know this dim is the overall uh, gear size and that will appear that gear overall at at sketch one will appear in the design table. So I'm going to make this 10 mil thick around the mid plane. And now I'm going to draw a sketch on the front face of the gear. And I'm going to start building up the tooth profile. This is quite a complicated sketch using equations, but it, it does work and give you a correct tooth profile. So to, to make a start, I'm just going to draw in a few construction lines. And then I'm going to draw in some construction circles as well. The first circle I'm going to make 46, sorry, yeah, 46.98. And this circle I'm going to name, I'll double click it to edit the name. I'm going to, I'm going to call this the base circle. And I'm going to make it a construction circle as well. And then in the next circle, I'm going to make 50. I'm going to call that the PCD. Right, from there, I'm going to start building up um, this tooth profile. So to get started, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to draw a curve on the um, on the uh, base circle. And now I'm going to start drawing up the geometry to create the tooth profile. So if I go, I'm going to draw a construction line from the center of the circle um, coincident with that curve. And then from there, I'm actually going to draw a point on the PCD um circle and i'm going to do a dim from the center line to that point of 1.96 and i'm going to name this dim the mirror distance uh, you'll see why we need this point at the end of the sketch so from here now i'm going to draw an, um another line here and I'm going to make it six degrees from this line. And I'm going to make all these construction lines. So from there, I'm going to make a point from here to here. Oh, sorry. Um, I'm going to draw. I'm going to draw a perpendicular line from the second point. So make that perpendicular. And also a construction line. I'm going to make this is going to start building up the profile of our tooth. So I'm going to draw a length from here to here. Make sure it's horizontal with that. The, um, sorry, horizontal with the drawn line, the dim. I'm going to call this dim uh, the interloop gap. And I'm going to make, oops, and I'm going to make this two point four six. So from there now, I'm going to start building up the tooth um, profile using um, this dim here and um, this 
dim here. So what I'll do is draw another line. Make it coincident with the base circle, and then I'm going to draw another line coming off it, per uh, perpendicular to it. So highlight that, highlight that, make it perpendicular. Construction lines. And what the length of this line here, I'm going to make... Right, so now I'm going to create an equation. So I'm going to click two... I'm going to make, put equals in instead of a, and where the, the dim is. I'm going to put equals. And I'm going to click this 2.46. So it's making an equation of the interloop gap dim. I'm going to do times two. So as you can see, this dim is now driven this dim is now driven by this dim so if i change that to three it changes to six so i'm going to change it back to 2.46 which so now i've done so now i've done that i need to put the six degrees in in between these two lines and repeat so what I need to do is repeat this seven times and it builds up a profile of the tooth. So I'm just going to pause the video and I'm going to, so I'm going to repeat this seven times. So I'm going to, going to do seven lines in total, all six degrees apart, coincident with the base circle. And every time I'm going to do an equation um, uh, going, so that's times two. And then the next one will be times three, times four, times five, until we get to seven. So I'll just pause the video and go through that uh, and quickly draw that up. So now I've just repeated this, uh, like I said, seven times. So every I've drawn eight lines in total because I repeated it seven times. So we're all six degrees apart and they're all coincident with this base circle. And from there, to explain how I've done the equations quickly again, I've got this 2.46, which is the interloop gap. And then I've made every line perpendicular. And then if you just double click on the dim, I've got interloop gap times two. So the next one is times three, times four, times five, times six, and times seven. So now we're starting to build up a profile of how we want the tooth to be. And it's driven by that 2.46 and the equations. So if I go to spline and then click every point, so let's click there. Just come out of that, press escape. So now I've got the beginnings of a tooth profile, and then this is where the point where the 1.96 comes in. So I'm going to make this 1.96 and this spline coincident, and then this fully defines the spline. So from there, I'm going to just finish it off by drawing, um, sorry, mirroring uh, about this line, and then drawing and closing the profile by drawing a top on it. So to, to just finish that off, I'm going to go to mirror entities, click my spline and the base, mirror about this uh, the middle axes, and then I'm just going to draw an arc on the top. And I'm going to just make it equal to the overall uh, uh, the overall gear dim. So from there, I'm just going to exit out of that, make a cut. So now I've got a, a driven sketch that actively creates this profile for the tooth. So now I'm just going to go to features, uh, extrude cut, and just go through all. So now we're starting to build up the tooth profile. But to finish the tooth profile off now, I'm just going to do a sketch on the front face again. Draw two lines from the center of the circle. I'm going to um, convert that entity and I'm going to draw another circle here make it and make this circle in total to be oh, I've got my notes here uh, 43.75 and I'm going to call this dim 
the dedendum. Ticket. So now I'm going to uh, leave that how it is, and I'm going to cut through this profile here that I've just created. So I'm just going to go to features, extrude cut again, cut through all on this profile. So now that's the tooth profile created. So from there, I want this gear to have 20 teeth. So if I just go to um, go to features and then go to where it says linear pattern, there's a drop down, go to circular pattern. So firstly, I need to um, see the axes. So if I just go to view, hide and show temporary axes. So now I can see the center of that circle. Click the axis in the direction, pattern axis box, just click that. So I want there to be 20 teeth in total, uh, 360 equally spaced. So I'll just click onto features and faces and click the feature. So it's the two cuts I want to feature. If we tick that. So now I have a, an accurately drawn gear with the correct te uh, tooth profile. So now just to finish it off, just do a circle at uh, 20 mil in total, oops, at 20 mil in total. Diameter, and then from there I'm just gonna just freeze, just do a box there, five mil wide, and then just five mil high from the center point, just to fully define it. And then just cut that profile through. So I'll go to features, extrude cut, and then just go through all again, see that. So now I have a gear with an accurate tooth profile and all the dims. If I go to um, options, sorry, just type into commands, equations, bring my equations up. I now have a gear with these global variables. So I've got gear overall size, base circle, PCD. So this is all good and set up for me to start a design table. Uh, to make multiple gear sizes from this gear model. Um, that'll be in my next video. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, it's very, I know the sketching is slightly complicated, but it gets it out of the way ready for when you want to make your design table. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, please subscribe to my channel, um, and I'll start carry on doing more videos like this. Um, and thanks for watching.